Ethiopia has plunged into a state of political crisis. This as the government declared a six-month emergency in second largest region of Amhara on Friday. The decision comes on the heels of a week-long unrest which has spiraled into one of the most serious security crises in Ethiopia. Tensions in the region have been sparked by clashes between the country's military and the local Fano militia. Reports say that these clashes were triggered when the Ethiopian National Defense Force launched an operation to push Fano fighters out of Kobo and other areas in Amhara. Fano militiamen then seized the holy town of Lalibela, which is home to a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Authorities at the center took the, this decision after Amhara's regional government requested additional help to impose order in that region. But these clashes are not a spur of the moment incident. Early in April, Fano fighters took part in a week of violent protests across Amhara after Ethiopian Prime Minister Abi Ahmed had ordered security forces from the country's 11 regions to be integrated into the police force or national army. The protesters felt that the directive was meant to weaken Amhara, an accusation which the federal government had denied. Fano is a part-time militia group which is said to have no formal command structure. Previously an ally of the forces, the group had backed federal troops during a two-year civil war in the neighboring Tigray region that ended with a truce last November. 